Hi everybody. If you're tired of the boring point markers QGIS offers, you can use your own custom SVG images instead, and they're easy to create in Illustrator or Inkscape. You can use custom markers for points of interest like shops and restaurants, or military units for historical maps. In this video, we'll create a map of hospitals in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina, most of which is the city of Charlotte. I want to show the following information. County border, major roads, and hospitals. The hospitals are in two categories, general and specialty. I'm not going to include any water features, parks, or other data, since that's not relevant to this map subject and would only be a distraction. I'll start by loading the county boundary shapefile into QGIS. Next, I'll add the roads. This roads file only shows major roads. I don't need to show every street. And now for the hospitals. There are two shapefiles, one for general and one for specialty hospitals. Add both of these to the map. Now we'll create our custom symbols. QGIS offers some other shapes for point markers besides the round circles, but I want to use red and white cross symbols, basically plus signs, for the icons. To add custom icons, we need to create them first. I'll use Illustrator for this, but Inkscape works well too, and it's free. I'll show the steps for Illustrator first, and then for Inkscape. In Illustrator, I'll create a new document. Then I'll draw a circle and set a white fill and a two-point black stroke. Here's a tip. When creating things like this, it's a good idea to work at a large size, then scale the final image down to the size you need. Next, I'll add the first part of the cross shape by drawing a rectangle and setting it to a red fill with no stroke. Here's what I get. You can see it's a little off-center. To fix this, I'll select all and click on the horizontal and vertical align center buttons on the alignment panel. To get the second part of the cross, I'll select the first part, then press R to get the Rotate tool. I'll Option or Alt click on the center point to bring up the Rotate box, enter 90 for the angle, and press Copy. Here's what I get. That looks good. Now I'll scale this down to the correct size, or at least pretty close. Here I've scaled it by 20% and reset the black stroke to a width of one point. This is a zoomed in view. And now for the critical step. If I save this icon as an SVG right now and import it into QGIS, the entire page, the artboard, will be used for the image. With a letter size page, that won't work very well. To avoid that, I need to reduce the artboard size to the size of the graphic. There's an easy way to do this. Select All and go to Object, Artboards, Fit to Selected Art. Here's what that does. Now I can save this as an SVG. I'll go to File, Save. When the Save dialog appears, I'll enter a name and select SVG from the Format menu, the regular SVG one, not the compressed one. In the SVG option box, ignore the settings and click Save. To create the second icon, the one for the specialty hospitals, I can just reverse the colors on my icon and save it as an SVG. Don't save over the existing one. Make sure you use Save As. And now my symbols are ready to use. Before I go back to QGIS, here's how to create these symbols in Inkscape. Open Inkscape. Get the Circle Ellipse tool. Hold down the Control key and draw a circle. The control key constrains it to a perfect circle. Set this to a white fill and a two-point black stroke. Get the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and set this to a red fill with no stroke. Drag a box around both shapes to select them, then go to Object, Align, and Distribute. Click on the horizontal and vertical center align buttons. Click on the red rectangle and go to Edit Duplicate. This creates a copy of the shape. Go to Object Rotate 90 degrees clockwise and the second shape will be rotated. Now we need to scale the shape down to size. Drag a box around the shapes to select them. Then go to Object Transform. Click on the Scale tab and enter a number. 
I'll use 20%. The stroke width is too small now, so select it and increase it. Now we'll clip the canvas area to the size of the image. Drag a box around the image and go to Edit Resize Page to Selection. Finally, go to File Save As. Name the image and choose Optimized SVG as the format, then click OK. To create the second icon, just reverse the colors of the circle and rectangle fills, then repeat the remaining steps. Now we'll replace the circle markers with our new SVG symbols. We'll change the hospital general ones first. I'll double click on the hospital's general layer to open layer properties. Click on simple marker at the top, then select SVG marker from the symbol layer type menu. Scroll down to the bottom and click on the button with the three dots. A file window will appear. Navigate to the hospital general SVG symbol and click open. The symbol will appear in the layer properties window. Click OK and you'll see this. My original circles have been replaced by the custom symbol. Since these are vector graphics, we can resize them with no loss of quality. I'll go back to layer properties and change the size to 6 millimeters. Here's how that looks. That's better. Now I'll repeat this procedure for the hospital specialty markers. And there are my custom SVG markers. Now I can add labels or do anything else to the map that I want. Check out my designer's guide to creating great maps at themapguide.net slash guide and download two free chapters. That's it for now. See you next time.